What up? All right. You ready for the next ride along with Mr. O? Here we go. All right. We've been talking about the creation of the Constitution, the things that led to it, the Articles of Confederation and their failure because they were weak, because the states had too much power. Now, uh, well then, we talked about the Great Compromise, right? How are we going to divvy up power between the states, okay? That now, we're up to probably the most disturbing thing in the creation of the Constitution, and this is what we call the three-fifths compromise, okay? Now, one thing that you need to know about all of the, a lot of these decisions that were being made, it was all about who has the power, okay? Uh, this one we're gonna focus in on the regions of the North and the South, okay? And the South, they asked a question about how do we count slaves when we're divvying up the power in government, okay? And there were two opposing viewpoints. The South had one viewpoint and the North had another viewpoint. And then what we have is a meet in the middle, a compromise, okay? And yes, there is going to be some math involved with this, so put your math cap on briefly while you're in history class. So here we go. We're gonna talk about the views of the South and the views of the North on this issue of how slaves would be counted when determining representation in Congress, okay? Remember, we already talked about how it's gonna go. The House of Representatives is based on population, okay? We figured that out with the Virginia Plan and then the Great Compromise, okay? Now, the South says, okay, we've got a large portion of the people that live in our states are slaves. And we wanna know, are we gonna count slaves to determine our representation, or are we not gonna count slaves? Okay, and the people in the South were like, yeah, we should be able to count slaves. But the weird thing about that you have to understand is that slaves didn't have any say in the government. They were like, yeah, you guys don't have any rights, but we're going to use you to get more power. Okay, so they said we should use, count the slaves as part of our population, and then we'll get more representatives in Congress. And the North was like, what? Wait, hold on. That doesn't make any sense. They had a totally different point of view. So now what we can do is compare and contrast the different points of view from the North and the South. The Northerners said, wait, you guys treat slaves as property. You don't count them as citizens. They have no rights of citizens. So why would you get more power for something that you consider property? You don't get more power the more horses that you have in the South. Okay, so why would we count slaves as part of your population to give the rich, wealthy landowners more power? That doesn't make any sense. They said, you should count them as property and not as part of the population when determining how many representatives you're gonna have in government. And they said, now, if, you're, if you wanna count them as part of the population, remember, we're talking about the Northern delegates' point of view, they said, if you want to count them as part of the population, you better give them the rights of anybody else. You better give them actual representation in government. And the South is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we can't have that. We just want to use them to get more power. And the North said, no, you can't have it both ways. Okay? So now they're fighting and arguing. and I mean, this is like a big deal. This is, you know, slavery is a huge deal when talking about uh, American history and we see the different points of view happening early on in the United States of America so after a bunch of debates and things like that they decided hmm, how can we make this good for everybody what they decided to do ultimately was say okay what if we count slaves as three-fifths of a person okay now think about that not a whole person, but three-fifths of a person. What if we did it that way? So you can have more representation in Congress, but we're only going to count three-fifths of the population of slaves. And the South said, well, well, okay. Okay, I think we can do this. And the North said, all right, they're not going to get fully get their way, 
we're not going to fully get our way. So why don't we divide it where it says that a slave is counted as three-fifths of a person when counting the population to determine representation in government. We need to think about this. What does it mean then for all men are created equal when we're talking about three-fifths of a person? Okay. There's a couple other things involved in the three-fifths compromise. Those things will come up later on. Keep it in mind. The different points of view of the North and the South on how to count slaves as part of the population. The three-fifths compromise comes out of this and it's definitely uh, a controversial issue. So, think about what we talked about. We'll see you next time on the ride along with Mr. O. What, what? Woo! All right, peace.